right? The 4,000 people have committed suicide during crisis with your policies. And the fact is that you keep on giving loans, you keep on giving loans, Greece, to pay back the same loans that you keep before. It's as if you go from one loan shark to another loan shark to get more loans to pay the other loan shark. It's not completely so, true. All right. If you finish, I'll say something. Yes, back. for sure. I just, just want to finish one of these things, please. So, the problem is, you know quite well, what is the story, quite well, you know how, in which bad situation is also even the Dutch economy, you have been constantly promoting for five years austerity, even here in Netherlands. You proposed six billion cuts on budget for last year, all right? And that means you're gonna have to cut things on education, on healthcare, on everything, all right? And at the same time, you allow to have, to have this, this, this thing on the press, saying that every, every Dutch person is giving 700 euros straight to a Greek person. No, 700 euros to the banks. To the banks and to the corruption and all the people. I'll say something. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I think that the problems in Greece and in many other European countries are not caused by Brussels no. or Europe. Uh, you have to realize... <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, no, 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 I, I listen to you. No, I listen yeah, to me. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. So, I think a lot of problems in the Greek society have to do with how the Greek government functions, how the Greek economy functions. Uh, Europe has tried to help, but there's no easy way out of the crisis. Many countries have had that help, and many countries have recovered. Greece still has a long way to go. Uh, I which personally... Country? Which country has recovered? Let me finish. Yeah, yeah, but which country has recovered? Ireland, Ireland now has the highest growth in Europe. Growth, but yeah. not deficit reduction. Ireland is doing very, very well. What about its public debt? What about the public debt in Ireland? Please, you didn't say it finish? at all. Please. Don't say incorrect things as you told me as well, please. <laughs> Sorry. Eh? So, many countries are recovering. Almost all Eurozone countries are now back to economic growth. Greece was also last year and has fallen back again. <laughs> no, no, no. We but the, recover, the recovery will take a long time by simply playing in Europe and putting the guilt for the solution for your problems outside of your own country, you're making a mistake. We have to do it together. So from the Eurozone, we stand ready to support Greece. We have to do it together. Just blaming the others is not going to work. I don't want to blame it's anyone. Well, you were blaming. No, you I'm were blaming putting all policy. the blame outside. No, not at all. When I look at the situation in Greece, in the economy, and how the government functions, there is a long history to those problems. Long before this crisis, there was already an economic problem, in, uh, a problem of corruption, etc. in Greece. Let's deal with it. If the new government wants to, to fight tax evasion in Greece, I will support it. If they want to fight corruption, I will support it. If they want to build a stronger economy, I will support it. Can I ask you They have to solve the problems themselves. And if they do that, we will keep supporting it. It has to come from two sides. Can I just ask you one last thing? Yeah. All right. Do you know that the first memorandum that Greece signed, you know, at the same time that people had their heads completely open skulls and everything in St. Dagmar Square, and at the same time there were negotiations for the first loan, for the first memorandum, do you know that didn't even pass the, Europe, the Greek parliament? Is this democracy? Uh, I think all the legislation that came from you know, the program was passed through parliaments. It was not popular. Not at all. There was a lot of resistance. These measures were very difficult, like some of the measures in the Netherlands are difficult and unpopular. And still you have to do some of those measures to get out of the crisis. You're quite right. Keeping, keep on lending, even if the loans are very cheap, is not a solution. Greece will have to become stronger. The government will have to function better, corruption will have to be uh, fought, and it will have to become a more competitive economy. That's the only way Greece, that's the only way Greece can become economically and financially independent. And I think that's what you want, and that's what I want. No one no, wants no, to no. be... We want different things. Nobody wants to be dependent. We want different things. Well, well, right. well, well, Thank you very luck. much. Thanks. Good luck. And this is how you make some country, okay? Not like this. Like this. <laughs> if you saw, you have to watch the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was standing like this first, and then I was. You are a better diplomat than me, right?